Hi Pisces, welcome to your bonus reading for February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Pisces, welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. This is a bonus reading. We want to take a little look at love, life, and advice for you at this time. So let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male, female. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If the messages aren't for you, then um, it probably isn't. Some may resonate, some may not. So please keep that in mind. So I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past playlist or uh, readings, links to your general and love playlist are down below in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, how to tip, donate, send a gift. All that information is down below in the description box, as well as I will pin some of that info to the top comment. Okay. Pisces, let's see what's going on for you in love at this time for Pisces spirit, please. Thank you so much. What's going on for love at Pisces for Pisces at this time? Spirit, okay, I'm going to take that one. And we have the coffin here. So something may be ending, coming to an end. We have the Nine of Pentacles here, which is a single energy. And we have eight, which is about taking action, travel, communication. So somebody may be taking action to end something here and become uh, single, the Nine of Pentacles energy. So what is on the bottom here? So but we do have roses here, which can be an invitation, uh, a gift, Queen of Spades, which is the Queen of Swords, which is about mental clarity, um, communication, um, truths, speaking up, telling it like it is. Nine to me is always a single energy. We have two nines here. So nine to me is always a single energy to me. Um, so we have eight, nine. It's progression, two nines, queen of swords. So let's see, um, number eight and nine. So eight here with the coffin. I am the painful change and transition. You will feel me through your body, your mind, and certainly your wallet. Depression, loss, and bankruptcy are my specialties. I am sickness and bed rest. I am all endings and sometimes death. Ooh. So it could be actually an ending or a death of a situation, not really a person. But we do have the nine here, which is flowers. Beauty and a happy face is what I bring. I am the gift that warms your heart. I am your recovery and your well-being. No matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. So whatever I'm getting here, whatever. So this is love. So unfortunately here, there may, may have been an ending. Um, taking action here for an ending, a relationship, long-term commitment, becoming now stable and single and independent in your own right, taking care of yourself and uh, recovering from that in a positive energy with the roses there, feeling at peace, harmony, kind of energy and having mental clarity on the situation. So kind of ending it on a good note, even though it's ended, it's ending on a good note. So it's a good energy, a peace, harmony. I feel like peaceful resolutions, peaceful ending. That's what I'm getting. It's like a peaceful ending of a long-term commitment or it could even be marriage for some of you. So we're going to, uh, now take a look at life, see what's going on for you in your life, Pisces. And I do want to say a thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped, donated, sent a gift, or reached out for personal reading. Thank you for all your support to me and the channel, and helping me and the channel grow it is truly, truly appreciated. So thank you, thank you. So Pisces, <clears throat> what does Pisces need to know at this time? A time to give rather than take. And we have new moon in Virgo. So some uh, could have a Virgo around you in some way, shape, or form. Nothing will come of the situation. Void or, or smooth. So yeah, I feel like something here. Uh, maybe was someone was giving more than their share in a relationship. You or your person. But now realizing like there's no more growth expansion in this connection. So it's time just to peacefully end it and move on. So we'll see. 
could uh, be something else also. So I'll see what messages come through when we clarify with the tarot. And I do ask Pisces, if you're new, you like my style, energy, how I read, please feel free to check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Don't forget to hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get um, two loves, two generals, and a bonus every month. So if you do, thank you. So see what your advice is, Pisces. What is Pisces advice at this time, Spirit, please? There we go. Relationship change. Wow. I can't make this up. <clears throat> 56 is 11, which is 2, which is about unity. <clears throat> but I feel like, and my throat is acting up, and blue here represents the throat chakra. <clears throat> so I feel like there definitely is a relationship change. I'm getting that. But I'm getting it's ending on a peaceful, like a peaceful ending is what I'm getting. And we have here love partnership, 26, which is eight, which is again about action, travel, communication. So yeah, a love partnership relationship change, all blue, which has to do with throat chakra communication. All right, so let's see. Maybe some of you are leaving one situation and now finding a new love already. Could be for some of you. We do have Virgo here. And with the Queen of Swords, King or Queen, doesn't matter, is uh, Libra from my Aquarius over here with the Queen of Swords. Or that could just be your, your energy now ha having mental clarity, um, speaking up, telling the truth, telling it like it is, cutting away things no longer serving you. All right, so what's this ending about? feel like a peaceful ending of some kind for Pisces spirit please can I clarify oh that's way too many definitely was with a soulmate because I did see the six of cups or someone you were with for a very long time so let's see here the devil yeah Capricorn energy toxic energy and there's my becoming single card with the nine of pentacles double confirmation here so I feel I feel like I mean even though it's it's a peaceful ending I feel like there was some toxic energy involved in this connection where um, it just got to the point where there was a lot of fighting, arguing, negative talking back to one another um, kind of energy. And now becoming single, independent in your own right, growth abundance, can take care of yourself, staying on your own two feet. And we have Sagittarius here with temperance. So peace, harmony, balance, patience. So, you know overcoming the toxic energy having there's that peace balance um energy patient being patient in the situation nine of cups again so nines are very single energy to me so a lot of nines here so somebody definitely is single now um can be an energy of overindulgence and it's right over the um devil energy so maybe somebody was overindulging. Maybe that's what caused, whether it was you or your person, that could be what caused this ending also. Chariot. But we're moving ahead now with drive, ambition, passion, balance, victory. So just moving ahead in life, moving forward. Over, you know, getting past this, by this, just moving forward. Cancer energy. All right. Let's get one more. High priestess so that's uh pisces that's your energy so you may not be telling anybody exactly what's going on here maybe keeping it to yourself but intuitively knowing this is the best thing to do for you in the situation your person uh following gut your intuition your higher knowing but yet keeping it to yourself not really talking about it telling anyone as we're moving past this we're moving beyond this we're having peaceful resolution um, peaceful ending, but yet moving forward. And I feel independently, but yet not really telling anyone, keeping it to yourself. Okay. So let's see here. Time to give rather than take and nothing will come of the situation. What is that about for Pisces? Three pentacles. It's about teamwork, collaboration, working together, working with others, but walking away from something here with the Eight of Cups. Energy. 
The lovers can be about, you know, a soulmate, a lover, making a choice to walk away. I feel like Three Pentacles is kind of like just, I'm just working. I'm working on me, my stability, my new life. I've walked away from a lover or made that conscious choice, seeing that it's time to give to myself, to nurture myself. Virgo is that earth energy, the pentacle energy, which is about growth, abundance, nurturing, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. Almost reminds me of the Empress energy, so you could be a mother, um, knowing that, you know, no more, there's nothing more in this situation. So now I'm just working on myself, taking care of myself, building a new future for myself. I've walked away from a lover here because there's just nothing more in the situation. What do we have here? Knight of Cups, so that's your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So moving forward uh, here, away from that toxic energy again, lies, deceit, sneaky energy, or sneaking away, or just getting away from that energy. <clears throat> that was could have been a marriage here, or commitment of some kind. Now we're celebrating, maybe going out with friends, celebrating, having a good time, my, you know, regaining my stableness in my life, my home environment. Um, could be going to over somebody else's wedding. I heard possibly even a child's wedding. But yeah, I feel like, you know, you walked away from a lover. Now you're moving ahead in your own energy, away from sneaky, deceitful, or whatever, not good energy. That's that toxic energy of the devil. And now you're, uh, I feel like you're just spending time with friends, family, celebrating, <coughs> doing the things that are good for you as you rebuild your stability here with the Three of Pentacles. Learning how to be single, learning how to be on your own kind of energy. For some of you, it could be finally... Um, I do see someone walking away from something. I mean, it could be a job. Now making a choice to start something new that's better suited for you. But uh, however the energies resonate for you. So let's see what this relationship change love partnership. So we do have the Ten of Swords. So suddenly, definitely here, um, ending of a relationship. But I think you saw it coming because you're looking at the swords here. And a lot of times in tarot, it shows the person face down with the swords in their back, which would be an energy like you didn't see it coming. But since uh, you're looking up and the swords are there, I feel like you felt it coming and you knew this was ending, coming to an end anyway. Knight of Wands, so fiery passion energy moving forward. Could have happened quickly, um, this ending. Could have happened just like quickly. So now you're just like, nah, I'm going to spend some time alone. I don't want any love offers. I just want to do me. I don't want to give love. I don't want any love offers coming in. I'm not going to uh, give any consideration to any kind of love offers. I just want to be alone, concentrate on me. Yeah, taking a pause, taking a break. There's your energy, Pisces. Taking a pause and a break and just reflecting on everything that happened. And I just want me time. I need to, yeah, hold back, holding back from love, hold, holding back from anything that I'm not ready for. Just concentrating on me. Moving forward very slowly. Stable energy. Just concentrating on my growth and abundance. Could be something new coming in, maybe a new job or something like that. But uh, but whatever news came in or offer, I'm not feeling like, I mean, you may have somebody else offering you something. Could be Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I don't feel like you're having it. I don't think you're interested in anything, any kind of love partnership <laughs> that's at that says. I don't think you're really interested in that right now. You may have other offers coming in already and you're like, no, I'm not interested. Sorry. I'm just doing me, concentrating on me, moving forward out of something that I just ended and transitioned out of. I've healed. There's balance now in that situation. There's patience. And now it's just me time, I'm feeling. So let's see what's on the bottom. Yeah. It could be divorce here with justice. Um, getting justice in your life, feeling balanced again, 
having clarity, making a final decision here. It's the best thing to do. It could be divorce or something like that. But there's forgiveness. You know, there's been peace, harmony, forgiveness um, in the situation. That was a soulmate union at one time. But now I'm going off into a better place. Even though it was a soulmate or someone you have past lives with or someone you uh, were with, with for a very, very long time. There was some sadness and grief over this. But now we regain balance over the situation. Even though there was a lot of stress, worry, fear, anxiety about being alone now, you know, going, going off on your own, you know, leaving this long-term situation, having a little bit of, you know, mental blockages over this, like, what do I do now on my own? I've been with this person for so long, feeling, you know, heartbroken, painful ending, again, of a commitment or marriage of some kind with the Hierophant energy. But now realizing, you know, I am strong, confident in my own right. Empress could be a mother, motherly figure. I am, I do have a lot of value and worth. I could take care of myself. I am strong and independent. And I can, if I choose to, manifest new love anytime I want to. Because you did have Orphus coming in here. So you know there are other people interested in you. And that if you wanted to manifest a new love, you could. But again, I feel like you're working on yourself. You're just taking me time working on your own happiness, success, victory, healing, and enlightenment energy. Just concentrating on yourself and your happiness. But you know you could manifest a brand new beginning in love because it's always there for you. Knowing your value, your worth. Even though there was a painful ending uh, in a marriage or commitment. Feeling a little mentally blocked about going off on your own here and stressed about it. But now finally having balance. Was sadness, hurt, and loss over a long-time soulmate. But now going in a better direction. Having forgiveness, peace, and harmony over this soulmate that you were maybe once married to. But now probably uh, is divorce here involved. But I do feel this peaceful, harmonious ending. And then just concentrating on you, moving forward to your new life, your new stability. And uh, just taking it very slow and practical. And not interested in any kind of new love office. Not now, but you know there are people waiting that are interested. And you know it's there for you uh, if you choose it. Well, Pisces. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel, it's to always, always shine your light.